Hello, what are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome to the hot and spicy. How's the uh, week been for you? I've changed the lighting. Christmas lights are up. Uh, I did that myself, believe it or not. I'm not really good at decorating stuff, really, but uh, yeah, I've done that. I'm quite proud of that. Nice bit of colour. And I've altered the light here so it's not too bright, but you can see me, hopefully. What have we got? Uh, I've decided to make a chicken curry a um, bit differently to how I usually do it. A bit rustic. Um, and uh, Well, how do I do I tell you? Well, I'll show you first. You... There it is. Chicken curry. Um, I got some chicken thighs, skinless chicken thighs and boneless. And I just stripped them up, you know, diced them roughly. Uh, fried that in some groundnut oil. And um, what did I do? Oh yeah, fried that off. And then I added a roughly chopped onion, whole onion. Let that uh, re let that come down. When it become translucent or see through, wherever. I then added because um, I got a little Kenwood mini chopper electric chopper thing and um, I added to that uh, three scotch bonnets two habanero uh, what else was there and a couple of finger chilies I think five cloves of garlic and what did I put in there Gar oh and there's uh, some freshly um, peeled and chopped ginger and then I blended that and it looked a bit like couscous if you like um, and then once the onions had uh, sweated down whatever you want to call it trans got, becomes translucent I then added that spice mix mixed that up added salt and pepper tasted and then I added some cumin then I added garam masala then I added a mild curry powder I just wanted the taste because I wanted the heat from the chilies. Um, what else is there? Smoked paprika. Um, so there's something else. And then towards the end, I had some freshly chopped coriander. Now you could add all sorts of stuff. And oh, and a tin of chopped tomato. Sorry. And then the coriander. And uh, let it simmer. And keep tasting, tasting. And, uh, it's beautiful. It's the heat. It's hot, but it's not overpowering where it sods the taste off. <laughs> mm. Using chicken like that, beautiful. Chop it up. Oh, them spices, eh? the heat. Bit of rice. Poppadoms. Two onion bhajis. And a chili and garlic naan bread, which I've left in the oven a bit too long. I shouldn't do that. That's my fault. But uh, no, it's not too bad. So what we'll do? Yes, how's a week been? Have a mouthful of curry. Mm. Quite hungry too. I tend to starve myself on a Saturday. Carlin. Ice cold. Beautiful. Yeah, as I say, this is a hot curry. Mm. Chicken just melts. But it's, um, I can taste everything, there's no, and I'm still getting this kick of heat, beautiful. Let's have some fluffy rice. The original's back. <laughs> You haven't anything to eat or you're just watching, starving. It's 
lovely. Mmm. Heater, that's nice. Let's have an onion bhaji. Mmm. Nice. Enjoying this so much, I'm quiet. <laughs> That'd be great. Beautiful. Um, GMP. We had planned it, um, but we had to cancel it for unforeseen circumstances. So we've rebooked it and um, That'll be coming soon. The Christmas special is on my on my shoulders. This one. <coughs> I have an idea, but um, we'll see. Be a bit of fun. It's uh, no, I won't say anything because. Uh, there's the onion normally you wouldn't see the onion like that because I'd finely chop it but it's nice and I highly recommend chopping or blending the chilies ginger and garlic together um, oh, I forgot another one Added to that lemongrass. Yeah, put some lemongrass in. So I was just trying. Um, funny, I nearly forgot that. Because I don't normally use it, you see. So lemongrass was a new ingredient in it. Nice. And um, I highly recommend the chopping, blending it. Because that way it all goes into the whole curry. Not that the chilies don't, but when you slice chilies, okay, it heats the curry. But you'll get, like, you could lift this piece of chicken here, and it could have two chilies on it. Now that would be hot. And then have something else, It'll still be hot, but not as hot. Whereas blending them coats everything the same, if you know what I mean, if it makes sense. If you're not into cooking, you think, oh, shit. Yeah, let's have a bit of pop with them, shall we? I love doing this. Mouth big enough. Mm. Have you put your decks up yet? Yeah? No decorations. I love decorations, lights. But there's always in January when you pull them down. But the place looks bad, and that you feel mm, good. But it's special. Lager, so we say. I've um. Tried a new lager this last week. Brew dog. Oh, I forgot the name. Brew dog. Oh, I forgot the name. It's quite a large bottle. I'll know it when I see it. I've just forgotten the name. But uh, that was nice. I like brew dog. Especially there's one they got, is it grapefruit? Like a citrusy, god it's nice that, like citrusy beer. But I like anything other. So homemade chicken curry. 
Mm. It is hot. But it's my kind of hot. Mm. That's nice rice though. I'm going to do a duck tomorrow, but I've been given a duck. So, uh, um, I'll have to prep it now. But um, I'm not having that now. I'm going to have a, a pork, roast pork with crackling. I, I had a piece, quite a big piece, and I can't remember, it cut into two or three. But um, this is the uh, last one in the freezer. Um, so I'm going to roast that and have some steamed potatoes, broccoli, cauliflower and roast potatoes and uh, lascentos of gravy. And, uh, I missed, missed that out last week, sorry Natalie. <laughs> How are you Kevin? Um, yeah. So that's what I'm having tomorrow. Oh, I've had um, I've never. I always have duck for Christmas, normally. Turkey's too big, and it's you know, because it's only me that eats it. So, I could get a turkey crown enough. So, I've always had duck. I like duck. Anyway, um, I've got the duck. I bought the duck. That's ready, and I've had one given to me as well, so that's two ducks. Um, and I bought a, I was watching one of Graham's videos. He mentioned he'd got this goose crown. I've always wanted to try goose, but it's too big. Um, so I went, was it Lidl's? I think it was. And they say, yeah, they're this, or Aldi's. I always get mixed up. Lidl's, I think. Um, goose crown, £9. Big enough, lovely. So I bought that. I'll have three pheasants to go in the freezer and then I think I'll buy a three bird roast to have in the new year into, you know, into the new year and that's it so I've run the freezer down you know to make room for things and another piece of naan shall we if I can tear it because one side of it is like the Simplest. <laughs> Beautiful. Wonder what that was in tomato. Any other updates? Oh, the um, snacks I was sent. Luke. I was going to film it. But yeah, I tried one of these. And they were that nice. I've had the lot. Scratchings. Ghost pepper, super hot. You can taste the scratching, it's lovely, but it's just this kick of heat. Nothing major, but it's nice. But the chocolate and the peanuts, I have tried them. The chocolate's hot and the peanuts are hot. But I'll, I might do a, I said this last time, I might do a, a video using them with another in the week as well. Oh, Sunday night, Monday, some of that. See how it goes. Right, so I'm getting full now. <laughs> Are you doing anything this weekend? Are you working? Are you home? Chilling? Drinking? Eating? <laughs> or all the lot of them? That's been a long week. Um, 
you know, with my work of parcels, bloody hell, massive. Oh, I tell you, you wouldn't think so many parcels went through the system, would you? Um, one day, the van's full. You get rid of them, and the same tomorrow. Same, well, not tomorrow, Sunday. Yeah. It's all good, keeps us in work. Yeah. And I noticed the last few years now, people, for us, Christmas start in November, starts getting busy because people buy online early, build up their presents and then they can wrap them and all that type of thing. I've got to do some wrapping. God, I can't stand the job. Some people like it and piss about. Oh, I can't. With me, wrap, 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 sellotape, see ya. Some people, they'll be right and bowls and... Yeah, get it. Yeah, he's your present. How many children? Can't beat handing them in a carrier bag. They are wrapped, isn't it? That's lovely. That is lovely. You can see anything ever. If them lights flicker, it's because the it's, it's not they're flickering, sometimes they'll like they're going bigger, and, but it's the um, focus on this thing because it seems to be okay. Right, I'll leave you to it. I'm going to finish this. Um, I won't have any more naan. I'll finish a bit of this. Have the other bargy. Do you want it? Only a bit of rice left now. Curry. So I did a local um, pizza last week, didn't I? I'm doing a local curry. Can't get no more local than home, can you? <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you to it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're out, stay safe, stay warm, uh, quite windy out, and um, if you're having a few drinks, have one on me as well, or for me, and I'll see you uh, in the next video, whenever that may be, it might be a vlog, it might be a walk, you never know do you, all the cameras are charged, ready, just need to head out and press record, baby. Have a good weekend. And uh, thanks for watching. And have some hot and spicy yourself. Cheers.